Hello viewers and welcome to the HE class. So today we are going to learn about the lip pump. So we have the lip pump here. You can see here we have the lip pump. So for the lip pump, the components, we have the sprout, we have the piston here, we have the valve, the valve here, and then we have the barrel, that is the inner part of the the upper part of uh, the valve, which we are calling the barrel, and then the piston that can move up and down, and then we have the sprout. So let's see how it works. So first of all, I'll submerge the lower tip of the lift pump into the water, and then I pull up the, the piston separately. Let's see. So we have the, the up stroke and the down stroke. So you realize during the up stroke, water will get out. Then during the down stroke, water will be closed. So in other words, uh, let's look at the, the parts and how it works each time we are working the up stroke and the down stroke. So first of all, we have the valve here. And then uh, for the valve, uh, that one allows either the water to flow down uh, the water to be enclosed or what water to, to flow up. So what happens is that when uh, you are lifting up the piston, when you are lifting up the piston, the air pressure in the barrel reduces and becomes less than the atmospheric pressure acting on the water in the beaker. So you realize that uh, when you lift up the piston here, the, the water, the air pressure in the barrel, because the air will expand, you realize, in other words, the air will occupy a larger space that has been created. So you realize that uh, when you are lifting up the piston, when you are lifting up the piston, the air pressure in the barrel becomes less than atmospheric pressure on the water surface, and that causes now the greater atmospheric pressure to open the valve here, and water gets into the barrel. So the valve is open due to the pressure difference between the water in the beaker and the water and, the, and also the, the air pressure in the barrel. And now we are seeing that now the valve is open and water gets in. And then we are seeing during the downstroke, the valve will now close. During the downstroke, the valve is closed. Reason is because it has its own weight. So and its weight is acting downwards. And also we have the, the weight of water above it. You know what has already got in during the upstroke. So during the downstroke, we are compressing the water. So the water will press the the valve to close, and also the the weight of its own uh, weight of the valve will also make it to close. And therefore, that's why now you realize with the time after several strokes, you realize now the water is able to get out during uh, during the uh, upstroke. So let's see. Let's see again. We have the upstroke, water get in, upstroke, water get in, upstroke, water gets out. So it gets in and, and now it also gets out during the upstroke. And you also realize that water is getting out in, in, in form of pulses. But during the downstroke, remember the observe also the bulb. During the upstroke, the bulb is open. During the down, downstroke, the bulb is closed. So that is the, the lift pump, that is now the lift pump. So we want also to know further how it works. So, uh, so you realize that the lift pump can lift water up to a maximum height of 10 meters. And the reason for that is that you realize that uh, the standard atmospheric pressure, which is also the pressure at sea level, is 76 centimeters of mercury 
in a barometer. So 76 centimeters of mercury. And if you convert that to a SI unit, that is our pressure is H rho G, 0 0.76 times 13,600, which is the density of mercury times 10, pull of gravity, H rho G. So you realize the answer is 103,360 newton per square meters. That is the standard atmospheric pressure in a SI unit. Then as well, if you, convert, uh, if you convert that in terms of water, you realize that the height of water is uh, 10.3 meters. And that's what we are saying. The disadvantage of a lift pump, one of the disadvantages is that uh, uh, the water it can pump can only be up to 10 meters, can only pump water up to 10 meters, but cannot pump water beyond uh, 10 meters. In other words, uh, about 10.3 meters at sea level. And then we are saying some of other limitations include leakages at the valves, leakages at the valves and the pistons. And the other disadvantage is that there is reduced atmospheric pressure in high altitude areas. Remember, we are saying the working of this depends on atmospheric pressure. The working of this uh, lift pump depends on uh, atmospheric pressure. So you realize that because its working is depending on atmospheric pressure, whereby when you are lifting up the piston, the atmospheric pressure becomes more than the air pressure above the valve. Uh, that, uh, that is what causes the water to get in. So you realize that in, when the higher you go, the lower the atmospheric pressure. In other words, you realize that with the time, uh, you realize that the lift pump may not work or it may not pump water in a higher, high, higher altitude area because of that disparity in atmospheric pressure. So that marks the end of that session. We'll pick up uh, from there during the next session.